What's up guys, welcome to a new video. So there's a lot of people showing interest in Shopify right now, showing interest in dropshipping in e-commerce. And also due to the current situation, there's a lot of people looking at ways to make money online and dropshipping drop shipping being one of the businesses in which it has a really low barrier to entry. So for about a hundred pounds, you can get pretty much everything you need and be running and advertising products and see money coming in the door with as little as a hundred pounds. So I thought now would be a great time to do a video like this where I can go through the biggest reasons why I've seen people fail at this over the course of the past two years. I think by watching things on social media, on YouTube, seeing screenshots and things on Facebook, it's, it can be quite easy to become detached from what dropshipping, what Shopify, what e-commerce actually is and what it actually involves. So that's the idea of this video then to actually take you through those things so you have a more realistic approach and expectation to what you can expect from running a business so with that being said then guys thanks for tuning in i hope you enjoy this one and let's jump straight into point number one point number one then that i want to discuss is patience now you might be thinking this is a pretty boring point but it's a super important one if i had to say what the number one reason was why people fail it has to be patience too many people come into drop shipping into e-commerce with false expectations of what to realistically achieve achieve and because they have those false expectations it leads to them quitting um, prematurely because they're not seeing the results they hope for. Now this isn't necessarily through any fault of their own because it can be easy to go into pretty much any Facebook group and see a screenshot of somebody's results whether it's true or not and then come away thinking oh they made 30 grand in in that month so within a month I can make 30 grand when in reality it doesn't quite work like that. I guess you have to apply some logic to the approach that if it really was that easy then why isn't everybody making loads of money? Plus what you also have to consider is that to become good at anything it takes time. The amount of emails I receive from people who have been running a Shopify business for a week, two weeks and they're complaining because they think it doesn't work or they don't know what to do next so they want to give up. But if everybody becomes successful at something after a couple of weeks then again everybody would be doing it and everybody would be making money but in the reality it doesn't work like that. If you consider any other industry, not just business or not just within it business, it could be professional sportsmen, um, it could be professional quizzes. I'm not quite sure why that comes into my head, but anybody who's at the top of their game, the chances are they've put in more hours than anybody else. So doing something for two weeks and then expecting to be making loads of money, it just doesn't work like that, unfortunately. I wish it did, to be honest, but it just doesn't. What you have to consider, or a good way to look at this then in terms of a metaphor, is that the harder something is to achieve, then the more time you have to put into it and the less people that are going to achieve that goal. So for example, if you take learning to drive, for instance, on average, it takes somewhere between 20 to 40 hours to learn to drive to the point where you get to have the abilities and the skills to pass your driving test. And because there's not a significant amount of hours, there's millions and millions of people across the world that have their driving license. Whereas if you pass a law today saying that it was compulsory, everybody had to have 500 hours of lessons before they could get their driving license, then the amount of people who would learn to drive, the amount of people who would actually pass their driving test would drop significantly um, for two reasons. Number one is it's expensive. If you made 500 hours of lessons compulsory, that's a significant amount of money you would have to commit to get a driving license. And the second thing is time. People are short on time nowadays. The more time it takes to do something, the longer it's going to take somebody to do it because not everybody has 24 hours a day to work towards it. And it's the same in business. The longer you stay in the business, the more money it's going to cost you and the more time it's going to cost you. So in essence, the people who commit to something stay consistent stay persistent and do it no matter what and basically just keep going as, as corny as it sounds the people who keep going and keep learning um, are usually the ones that succeed and the emphasis there has to be on learning because if you just keep making the same mistakes over and over and over and over again you're not going to make any progress um, so just make sure that the time you put in you get something in return in terms of the knowledge and the skills that you gain the next reason I see people failing so much then when it comes to Shopify e-commerce dropshipping whatever you want to call it whatever kind of part you're starting is people are too generic they're not original enough the store they create look the same as everybody else's the products they're selling is the same as everybody else's the ads the creatives the videos the images whatever it is are just the same as everybody else what you have to think is that if you're doing the same as everybody else you can only expect the same results and the harsh reality is the majority of people who start this and do this are going to fail so if you're doing the same as those you're going to fail as well we live in a world now where your competition is no longer, so if you think about going back X amount of years, competition used to be in the same village as you or in the same town as you. 
Then as kind of logistics, things like that progressed, then it used to be the same country as you. But now that delivery shipments and things like that, the world is becoming smaller and more connected. Your competition is no longer in the country you're in, but it's worldwide. I could be selling a product sat here in the UK and somebody in New Zealand, in Australia, in Canada, in America, in Iraq, could be selling the exact same products to the exact same audience. So it is imperative and critical to your success that you have a USP. You've probably heard me this, uh, heard me mention this in past videos, a unique selling point. You have to give your customers a reason to buy from you and not somebody else. And you have to do something to make you stand out from everybody else, whether that's a certain offer that you're running, whether it's a free gift you're giving away, whether it's the fact that your product is a different variation, a different color functions, differently it's a higher quality your store is custom designed you've invested in a paid theme there are so many reasons or so many things you can do to make yourself stand out and it's so important as well you have to be putting out original content in order for people to notice you we live in a world now where everything people just become kind of bland and blase to everything because they've always seen it before and it's the only the new and exciting things they haven't seen before that stand out the next point i want to raise is that people nowadays uh, it's too easy to focus on the negativity. This kind of stems from so many different reasons, but unfortunately, for whatever reason, then negative headlines, negative comments are the ones that get the attention. If you just switch on the news now, most of the news channels will be reporting negative things because they're the things that get people's attention. They're the things that kind of trigger people's emotions and get them interacting with the content. And it's the same in business. It's the same in Shopify. It's the same in drop shipping. Something doesn't have to be true for somebody to believe it. And and this is probably one of the biggest reasons that kill people's dreams. I know this is going to sound corny and sad, but it is like people coming to negative things in groups. There's going to be beginners that are kind of on the fence about starting a business, starting something that potentially could go on to be life changing for them. But because somebody who has spent £50 on ads and it hasn't worked out for them, so they've gone onto a Facebook group to vent their anger, saying that Facebook ads are a rip off and they don't work, they're a scam. People who don't know better might read that and that might just kind of lead them to not start in that business that could potentially change their lives. So what I'm trying to say, or the point I'm trying to make is then don't listen to the negativity and especially don't listen to the people unless they've walked the road that you're going to walk. Do not listen to any comments from anybody about dropshipping if they haven't run a dropshipping business, about Facebook ads if they haven't ran Facebook ads. Um, for example, if you were learning to play golf, you wouldn't learn from somebody who has never played golf. If you were learning to drive, you wouldn't learn from somebody who didn't have a driving license. If you were learning to play the piano, you wouldn't learn from somebody who doesn't know how to play the piano themselves. So if you're looking to start a dropshipping business, do not learn from somebody who hasn't ran a dropshipping business. It's just counterproductive. It's not gonna lead to anything good. You're gonna be misinformed, you're gonna have false expectations, and ultimately it might lead you to quitting. The next point I wanna discuss with you guys is is people are in too much of a rush. Now, I guess this kind of links into patience, but there's some more points that I wanna kind of touch on here is that it's a really good thing to be really motivated, be really eager to start your business, but this shouldn't take over the fact or become so much of an issue that leads to you skipping corners and ultimately putting out a product, putting out a store, putting it in out an ad. Um, of poor quality. You might have heard me say in previous videos then is that the number one or the biggest issue you'll have to overcome as a new business on social media um, is credibility because people trust things based on how much experience they have, based on how much proof there is of them being a legitimate business. Because of the day and age we live in, people are more than aware of the different scams, etc., that go around. So unless they fully trust you and your business and they have that evidence, that proof that people before them have shopped with you and had a good experience, have been happy with their products, people aren't gonna trust you and that's gonna lead to them not, not spending their money with you for obvious reasons. So to kind of build that credibility, you have to make sure that everything you put out, the store that you have, the product, you sell, the ad creatives you put across are of high quality. The tiniest little thing, honestly, the tiny, wincy, littlest thing, whether it's not putting a space in the right place, whether it's a spelling mistake, whether it's that an uh, image looks pixelated and a layout issue, you have like a really big gap of white and nothing, will put customers off. There's no two arguments about it. It's just but just period, it will put people off. So what I'm trying to say then, because I could go on for ages and ages about loads of different points, um, is that just don't be too much of a rush. Think quality over quantity. 
even if it takes you four to six weeks, even if it takes you three months to design your store and get it to a point where you're really happy with it, order all the products in you want yourself so you can take custom images and film custom ads, send them to designers, send them to influencers to, um, to create some user generated content you can use for ads or put on your put on your website you're much better off doing that than throwing a store up within a week running some Facebook ads the same as everybody else because you're just not going to succeed like it really is that simple just have a bit of pride in the work that you're doing take your time to put out quality content just quality everything and trust me it will pay dividends so with that being said then guys i could go on for hours and hours probably and bore you all to death but i feel like i've said enough hopefully you've enjoyed the video hopefully you're still with me still watching if you are thank you very much i really do appreciate it and um, please do hit that like button if you enjoyed the video please do make sure you subscribe as well for regular content and of course any comments questions video suggestions just post them down below i will see every single one and i will reply to you um, and finally then if you are looking for a step-by-step -step video program that includes my full support and guidance um, I do run a course called the Ecom Academy so please do make sure you check that out so there's been some pretty awesome testimonials recently in fact so yeah if you want to check those out just head down into the video description there will be a link in there um, and again any comments or questions with that then just make sure you get in touch thanks again for watching and see you in the next one